up, my folks? I hope y'all are all doing good and getting along well, and everyone is happy snapping. Well, I think I'm going to call this video, Don't Bow Down to Ignorance. You know, a few years ago, I told you about an individual. I told you what no good. Now, if I tell you guys that somebody's no good, they're no good. I don't hold grudges. I don't try to project what I think about somebody on someone else, but if they're no good, I'll let you know, you know. We had a guy that, uh, quit chewing that floor up. Quit. Little mama, quit that. But, uh, we had a, a guy years ago that, uh, I had an issue with, and I told you guys, I was like, that son of a bitch is no good, okay? Just trying to let the fraternity know, you know, don't, in which, really, he shouldn't even been in a conversation with our fraternity, but he used to come in and watch the videos and um, he wanted to breed one of them big monster dogs to one of my dogs to make a, a gamier attack dog, I reckon. And I, I thought about it and I was like, he just stands for everything I'm against. I just, I'm just not, a, I'm not down with it. I don't like, I don't like that. I wouldn't want my dogs to be part of like hurting somebody or killing somebody or anything like that. My dogs are aggressive enough. What's up, boy? Well, he's sure turning into a nice dog. He's going to be a little SOB when he gets older. That puppy's going to be rough. I can't wait to catch some hogs with him. But, um, you know, and I just, I had a few emails I looked at this morning, and somebody called and told, my buddy called and told me yesterday that uh, he was on another channel, PB, PB's channel, and they were calling the man out. Well, four years ago, I told all you guys this stuff, you know. And then I found out old Corn Pop, y'all remember Corn Pop? I found out that he's getting out of dogs. He's done with it. You know, these guys, they come and they go. They come in the fraternity and they just stir up a bunch of shit in the fraternity. Then they get frustrated because it's a, it's not as easy as they think. And then the next thing you know, they're out of here. After all the verbal diarrhea, they spewed everywhere. What's up, guys? I'm going to get y'all separated a little bit. Y'all starting to get rough with each other. I'm seeing all the marks. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you guys. But, uh, yeah, old Corn Pop, he's out, they said. I don't know. I don't stay following him. But, you know, that's the best. Some people, the best thing for them is to get out of dogs. They come up with this big hoop de doop about they've been in the dogs to, since the 70s and all that. And then all of a sudden, they get frustrated with when things don't go their way and they're out. That's not a dog, man. I've been in dogs for 35 years, man. I mean, actively working dogs for 35 years. It's really a lot goes on in these dogs, and if you ain't thick skin, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna stay long. You know, you ain't gonna stay long. You know that that's the that's the whole that's the whole thing about them guys. They they like to come in, stir up shit, when they think they can just talk their way in and talk a big game. And but the dogs always gonna tell. That's the final tale of the tape. Okay, you know, I just, that's why I tell you guys, I don't get upset. I just say, fuck you and uh, let my dogs do the talking. That's what you got to do. I got a very high percentage of people that are very happy with the dogs that I, they're getting from me. That's all that matters to me is that they're happy. What's up, little buddy? Folks were asking about this dog because he was shy when I had him, when I first got him. I'm going to tell you all a secret. This dog is not shy now. He's my boy. What's up, buddy? And I'll tell you how you do that. When you get one shy, now, and this is what I mean, you got to be cut from this cloth. If you're going to be a dog man, you got to be willing to put in the time. Bring him inside. Bring him inside, hand feed him. Let him sit up there and watch TV with you or sit there while you're doing paperwork or whatever. Rub his head. Give him a good bath. Let him hang out on the couch with you. Hand feed him. Get him some meat, little hamburger balls, and hand feed him and love on him. I'll tell you another trick. Y'all gonna think I'm kidding though. Let that son bitch sleep in the bed with you. A dog that'll do, once he starts doing that, he is gonna come out of all that. He's gonna learn to trust you and he's gonna be your best friend. He's getting real tall right now. He's going through his tall, tall spurt. But he's turning into a nice dog since I did, I knew that's what I was gonna have to do with him. I tried to, you know, just spend time with him, walking him, I was like, screw it. I'm gonna do what the old man told me. Long time ago, Paul told me that. He said, take that sucker inside your house. 
Let him lay up in the bed. You let that dog sleep in the bed. Glenn Blowers even told me that one time. He said, let him, let him sleep in the bed with you, and I bet she comes out of that. Sure as hell. Dead, man. That's what they do. That's a little tip I'll give you guys. I know a lot of you guys will be like, I ain't letting no dog sleep in the bed with me. Well, deal with him squatting and pissing every time you walk out to deal with him. I'd rather him be like this and just change my sheets one day, you know. That's part of being a dog, man. There you, that's my that's my whole point. You got these coming, they goes, and they don't want to put in 110%. To be a good dog, man, you got to put in 110%. You know, I've, I've, I've watched all these novices over the years and these beginners and these amateurs, and, and, and I'm not knocking. I got a lot of respect for anybody in these dogs, even even a guy just getting in it. If he's got some common sense and he listens to listens to the folks that, that – are trying to help them now not everybody's going to try to help you and that's a fact you know the dog game a fool and his money is soon parted that's a big thing a lot of people look in these dogs just to separate you from their money they'll sell you a, a, a whole fucking pipe dream okay but there is people that are still want you to do well and do the right thing and you know you can get with an old timer that wants to see you succeed i want to see all you guys succeed and do good i want to know the truth that's what these dogs are. You're a true seeker if you're into these dogs, okay? And you can't know the truth now. I've said it before. If you're not working them, you got to work them, okay? You got to work them. But the fact of the matter is it takes a lot to, to get to. There's a different levels of dog men. You got kind that just like to put out and kind that just like to look at pedigrees and, 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 you know just say i have this and say that i can i can tell a dog man from the first when he starts talking about look how good this dog bred and all this and look at the bloodline and blah 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 i know right then that's a green green behind the gills green behind the gills okay because like i told you before it's not the bloodline it's individual dogs it's where they come from who's breeding them that matters more than how many times a dog's in a pedigree way more all right you know, it just does. It's just the way it is, man. You know, individual dogs, just like, for instance, I can take Rusty and the way he's bred and you get a certain type of dog. You can take another dog bred similar to him, might produce a totally different type of animal. You know, it's not the bloodlines. It's the way the, in, the individuals are doing and the individual people, what they they put in, it comes out. It comes out in the wash, you know. Just like there are certain things, you know, like these dogs here. I'm real happy with these. Real, we've been doing real good with them. But an idiot get them, they ain't going to be no good. You have to let these dogs mature, mature up. They have to be older. They, I, I'm just saying you'll ruin them. You'll ruin them fast because when they're puppies, you're going to think, oh, man, he's ready to hunt. Shake him hunting, he's going to be ruined now. He might do good that time. He might even do good the next time. But you'll ruin him. Let them get some age on them, and they're unstoppable. They'll catch a rhinoceros. But you can't only tell, you know, you can't fix stupid, and there's stupid people getting these dogs. You can't bow down to that. Once you know they're unhelpable, you can't help them. You just got to cut your ties with them. Just move along. You know what I mean? You can't teach everybody, you know. You can't help everybody. Come here, boy. But, uh, you know, there's, there's different, totally different, ideas in these dogs people getting these dogs and think they're going to get them and make some money on them that's what, what i hear a lot of people talking about i'm gonna get into bulldogs why you're getting into bulldogs because you want to hog hunt with them or you want to hunt them or are you just getting in bulldogs because you want to put them on a chain and read paperwork and shit and try to separate kids from their money you know that's the point but you just got to understand that that's that's what's going on a lot of times in these dogs and you're going to have these people that that's the way they they can go in and talk shit and they can get a little, you know, no publicity is bad publicity. That's the way they look at it. So they want a tough guy up and then when shit don't go their way, <laughs> they're out of them. But all that crap they splung still stuck to the wall. You know what I mean? It's not good for the fraternity. I respect real dog. I respect them guys that been in dogs for years and years and, and have thick skin and they continue the way they are, you know that's you got to respect somebody like that you can respect the guys that are young and they're they're doing the best they can they listen they do well you got to respect them but these other clowns they don't deserve respect they're not real good they're not real dog men they will never be real dog men no matter what and they're short timers mark my words they're short timers they might come up with some spiel 
about the, how they've been in dogs since 1976 and blah, blah, blah. And then the first thing, their shit's throwing junk, running past you and meeting you back at the truck, you know. Then, they, you know, when people start calling them out on their bullshit, then they're gone. They're done. They can't take it no more. Well, you should have fucking let your dogs do the talking instead of that big mouth. You know, that's the thing. Everyone gets on that high horse. My bloodline, my dogs, my dogs. Well, I try them all. I, I use all kinds of different bloodlines. I look at the individual dogs that I like. If I go out on something, I'll look and study what that shit's producing, what, what it's going to bring to the table, and I'll try it. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. But so far, I've been pretty damn successful with it like that. Everyone's been real happy if they listen. You know, my biggest thing is, you know, certain bloodlines got certain qualities. And I, I've, I've, like I said, I've not been stuck on stupid with one bloodline for a long time and kennel blind or nothing like that. I'll, I'll give everything a shot if I like the individual dog. But the fact of the matter is they all have their own little quirks. All of them have shit wrong with them. I assure you they do. You know, I don't want to get into that because it'll hurt a bunch of feelings, but they all do. I don't care whose it is or what it is or any of that. You know, a lot of them are so dumb, they're just a box of rocks. And I hate to say it, but a lot of bloodlines now are very, they've lost intelligence because they have went into the um, following pedigrees and doing this and that and chasing that, try to stack in that shit. And you lose things. Just like, okay, I'm, it's going to piss people off, but I'm going to say it. Like the Bolio dogs. A lot of the Bolio dogs I've, I've messed with, and even the crosses. People say, all oh, Bolio dogs are smart because a, a book said that Bolio was so intelligent. They were talking about pit intelligence. That doesn't mean that the dog himself was smart, okay? It means he was intelligent when he was hunting, when he was working, okay? That's a good trait. But also, if the dog's so stupid, they, they, you can't keep a water bucket in there. He's busting his teeth out by the time he's eight months old. He's, uh, you know, shitting where he eats, things like that. That's a, that's a stupid dog. You know what I mean? It's just the way it goes. You need to add intelligence to that shit and hope it takes. You know, there's, there's, you got to have an eye to breed dogs. Not everybody can just say, I'm going to be a dog breeder. You got to have some common sense. What's up, girl? You know, and, and that's the main thing. You got to have some sense in it. These dogs are made to work. They're not made just to, you know, have a pretty pedigree. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Just like this little bitch right here. I think she's going to be a great little dog. This is a, a this is a, the rusty turtle buster stuff. You know what I mean? Them dogs have been performing real well for me. They got intelligence. Real high intelligent dogs. You know, and when, and, I'm, I assure you, if I keep breeding them back together, trying to stack them up, keep them, they'll lose that. They will lose that. They'll be about as dumb as that red son of a bitch I got in that box over there. And that dog is bred outstanding, but he's a dumbass. I mean, you can't keep, you just got to be honest with what you got. And that's, that's the problem nowadays. People don't want to be honest about it. You know, back in the day when I used to, uh, when I was... You know, when, when matching dogs and competing dogs like that was a popular thing. Um, I referee a lot. A lot. I mean, a whole lot. And the reason why people wanted me to do it is because I was honest. I didn't care if it was my best friend in there. I'd foul his ass out. I would, you know, call it how I seen it. It didn't matter to me. I mean, that's the whole thing. That part of the game was just to see the truth and to see what was what. It wasn't about cheating to win money or or getting your name. You know, a lot of people just, they want that win just to be, you know, so they can, there again, separate a fool from their money. If it ain't the truth, it just ain't the truth, you know. But, you know, like I told you guys years ago, if I tell you somebody ain't no good, you should probably listen to me. Because I don't, I'm not holding no grudges with nobody. I don't care. They don't pay me and they don't lay me, you know. But, and I, I don't care what they say or anything like that about me. It doesn't make a shit to me. I'm going to do what I do. I've been doing this for 35 years, and I'm not going to stop. I, I enjoy these dogs, and, and I'm honest about them. I'm honest about what they're putting to the table, what they're bringing, and uh, how, uh, how they're performing, you know. And if they don't perform, they don't stay here. They don't get bred. It's just the way I, I don't care how pretty the paper is or where they come from. 
or any of that. If they if they can't perform to my standards, well, they're just not. Hey, dummy, come here. You're fixing to go to work. I'm fixing. To fix He's ready to work now. You got a couple more hours, but uh, you know, it's just the way it goes. And then that and that's the quality of a good breeder. And it don't man. It, it, like I told you before, you can get a good dog. You can anybody can go out and buy good dogs, and for one generation or maybe even two, produce good dogs. It's when you get down the pike, what are they throwing out? Were they honest with themselves? Are they just going to keep on breeding to to try to stack up something? And the next thing you know, man, it's a coffee table bred dog. Your your percentages are going to go down to shit. You're not going to have the quality. You're going to lose traits. I mean, it's just the facts, but. Guys, don't bow down to ignorance. Be smart. You don't get a redo. This is one life. You don't get another redo. You guys, y'all take care of yourself. I love you guys. Stay safe. And y'all keep on bulldogging.